Hunter. Any progress on the journal? If by progress you mean genetic experimentation recipes, demonic incantations, and what Strange here thinks is some sort of, wait for it, Lilith fanfiction Faustus wrote in a 10,000 year old dead language. Ancient Atlantean. Then sure, tons. I actually speak a little Atlantean. Tio mile of episif. But I did find this. A hole. We think it's a shipping facility, or smuggling. Faustus may have been a demented loon, but the man kept some pretty detailed records. Possibly for stealing. From me. Via the hole. Let me guess. That's why I'm here. Well, given the nocturnal and clandestine nature of this operation, as well as your experience in dealing with subterranean affairs... I'll bet. Ever wonder why you people only come to me for the dirty work? Because you are a vampire? You sleep in the actual dirt? Or a coffin? I mean, there's sort of a point buried in there. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> Let's go. Just once, I would like a mission on a tropical beach. Checking out a big dark hole in the ground does not excite you? Been there before. The thrill wears off pretty quick. Faustus's twisted ramblings wasn't the easiest job in the world, but Captain Marvel did manage to find a spot of particular interest to the late Doctor. Judging by... Must be a way to smuggle ourselves inside. Let me guess. Stealth, not your style? I'm a vampire, remember? We invented stealth. <laughs> Tell that to them. Hydra forces in this area are causing trouble. Let's take them down. If you're done showing off, why don't we move on Hydra and put an end to their artifact smuggling operation for good? No problem. Welcome, assistance.
into a hell of a moon. scan. This hole branches from here across the entire city. What the hell was Faustus doing down here? You would have to ask Crossbones. So it is. They call for help. Hydra has always sought power from the occult, but this feels different. It's one thing to steal artifacts, but this entire setup feels like a distribution center. But distribution to where? Nowhere. Then I'm betting it somehow involves Banner. Just as the stories told us, you are strong. This is getting old. All data moving into position. The sheer scope of Hydra's operations in this city are staggering. Especially considering the number of heroes that take up residence here. The greatest lie the devil ever told was convincing the world he didn't exist.
not willing to accept defeat. Faustus was killed so that we would never find this place. Crossbones was looking for any excuse to put that guy down. We just came along at the right time. Either way, whatever's down that hole is clearly worth killing to protect. I suggest we get down there while we can. Weak, even for Hydra. Here it comes. Very effective. That's the last of them. Well done. think it goes down better not be a fire dragoon layer hydra's been busy whatever the hell they're doing down here it smells wicked. Remind you of something? The Sanctum. Back door? <laughs> Gonna say yes. the fire dragoon. Hydra forces in this area are causing trouble. Let's take them down. Done. Fairly certain we found out how Hydra is getting the artifacts out of the Sanctum. I'm also fairly certain that I hate this guy. Let's see if we can't shut him up. Come closer, little vampire. Feed our eternal hunger with your eternal blood. We shall feast upon your brain forever. Can honestly say I never did that. <laughs> No mercy for the servants of the Lord. It's all coming back to me.
stays the same. Taka. Talk while you still can. First you die, then we eat! Hydra would make a far easier meal than us, monster. The meat is spoiled. Mother's blood makes them strong. It sours the flavor. Too much gamma for our liking. Well, that put me off my lunch. There is no end to Hydra's reinforcements, even down here. Steel is there, but Venom is. down already. Monstrosity! No! Damn. 
not heed the call. You cannot escape our destiny. I thought Venom's breath was bad. It is. Oh, you know I'm kidding, don't you, Charlie? Yeah. How long was I out? Days. What happened? Before or after you exploded. The collar. Still intact. Though, I'll admit, when Agatha and I first made it for you, we didn't anticipate the need to withstand alien energy. It felt like more than that. As if... Thankfully, the Venom creature didn't seem to like it either. Ran off through that gate of his. Which is why Blade was able to get you home. Next time, I will send that thing straight into the Abyss. Next time, there will be no next time. I know I've been pushing things hard. Pushing you. <laughs> That's what you do. Maybe not on this one. At least until we find a way to counteract the volatile effect of these compounding alien and mystic energies. Which reminds me, Strange and Stark have been chomping at the bit to come see you. Which, of course, I would not allow. Hope you were not too rough on them. Me? Of course not. Though I can't speak for Charlie. Still, wouldn't hurt to show your face around here when you're ready. People are starting to worry. And you are certain it will hold? We wouldn't be standing here if I wasn't. You two focus on the creature. I will worry about the collar. Haven't really seen Blade since he got back from the sewer. Carrying Hunter home on his back. He's still outside. Being extra broody. Maybe you should talk with him. Um... Good idea. I'll go with you if you like. Um... All I'm saying is the tower's lost, we're no closer to breaking through Slimerama's Sanctum Shield, and our exalted Chosen One just... woke up. And is listening to our every word. Uh, it's great to see you on your feet again, boss. Heard about the explosion, Hunter. No shame in it. We've all been caught by a boom before. Did Eddie Brock make it out? He likes to try and kill me, but I think that's just his language of love. I caught that explosion on video, and it looks ten times worse. I knew you'd walk away from it, though. You're tough like me. Heard about the explosion. Glad you're okay. Yeah, something tells me it won't be the spontaneous combustion you'll encounter. All I'm saying is that it's never a good thing when the prophesied savior of yore blows up. Yes, the Venom creature's alien nature continues to plague all of us. I've seen you take on a scroll army, hurl Thanos into a moon, make Galactus smile. They're all aliens too, last I checked. 
Something else is going on here, and you know it. We just gotta find out what and why. Still with me, oh magnificent one? Yes, I'm simply silently agreeing with you. I'm sure I'm not the first person to inquire on this fine morning, but seeing as how you did explode in what I might describe as a most spectacular fashion, any side effects I should know about? Headache? Blurred vision? The urge to murder us all? Oh, I am feeling the urge to murder now. You do? I need to alert caretaker. We should be monitoring you. Wait a moment. You're putting me on, aren't you? Well, I am the hunter after all. Ha! <laughs> of course you are. Who would you be without your ever-charming urge to kill? But, in all seriousness, I hope you feel comfortable enough to disclose any medical conditions you may be experiencing now. We can't in good conscience send you back into battle against Hydra if you're not in tip-top condition. My head is throbbing. An explosion will do that to you, I'm told. Meditating or taking a nap might do the trick. Of course, Tony would prescribe triple-shot macchiato. Still, it's hard to believe that's all you're suffering from. And you're made of tougher stuff than I thought. Is there anything else I can help you with? Any burning philosophical questions about the universe you need answering? Do you really think we will be able to halt the prophecy? Halt? No, unfortunately not. Prophecies are stubborn things. So you do not believe I can change mine? Anything we do would be like dropping a rock in a stream. We might stop it or divert it for a bit, but the relief would only be temporary. This prophecy will come true, one way or another. How do you do it? Do what? Balance both light and dark magic without becoming overwhelmed with one or the other. Yes, I am rather well-rounded in my magical gifts, aren't I? I suppose I see magic as a tool. I use magic, but it doesn't use me. Just remember, you don't need to go pure dark or pure light unless you want to. There is room for everyone's own unique path. Are you worried about what is happening to the Sanctum? I try to keep those thoughts roped away from my own sanity. I am deathly afraid of what Lilith is doing in there. I don't think she hijacked my home just so she could rifle through my sock drawers. I should take my leave. There is much to do. Yes, yes there is. Just don't push yourself too hard. You are, after all, still part human. Glad to see you back on your feet again. Strange and I tried to stop by for a little house call while you were out, but turns out your dog is part flamethrower. She is very protective. That's one word for it. Listen, I know you're probably hearing all sorts of comments after your last tangle with Venom. For what it's worth, we both just wanted to say that we don't think you should get within 50 light years of that thing until we sort out what the hell's going on between you two. How does the old saying go? Slash me once, shame on you. Slash me twice. Couldn't have said it better. It's like I'm talking to a living meme. I would hope not. The last meme was killed during the Great Culling. Their mimic abilities made them one of the deadliest threats of the old world. Right. Let's get back to fighting the giant alien slime monster. Look, Strange and I have been studying pieces of that symbiote ever since this nightmare began. Problem is, the further they get from the source, the more their molecular structure changes, which basically renders them useless to us. In zombie movie terms, I need a sample from Patient Zero. The old slime ball himself. Venom. Or Eddie, if you talk to Peter. Either way, that's our guy. We get a sample from him, somehow maintain its molecular integrity long enough for Strange and I to poke around at it, and, well, we're in business. Let me guess, you have a new gadget in mind for the task. Gadget? No, not a gadget. 
plans for a groundbreaking device to solve this insurmountable problem and keep you from exploding next time you fight the indestructible monster, you betcha. I like where this is going. Good. Calling it my symbiote sampler for now. Hey, I ran out of acronyms, okay? Stage one in stopping our symbiote nightmare once and for all. Meet me over by ye old anvil over there and we can get started. Oh, you're not afraid of needles, right? Needles? Forget I asked. I just hope this is what you were expecting, Hunter. Ooh, new coil. Let's get to work. Ah, uh, ah, uh, not bad, right? Are there any curses I should be aware of? I look forward to researching this artifact further. I'm here if you need me. Hey, can I ask a favor? We need to get started researching the symbiote. I am impressed with your understanding of the arcane. Thanks. I do enjoy flattery. We've all walked away from explosions, Hunter. Don't get arrogant about it, but from what I saw on the monitors, you did look really cool. We're missing something, Hunter. And the frustrating thing is it's happening right in front of us. Where? The Sanctum is filthy with Hydra. Too many of them. It wouldn't take many guards to secure the building. So the question is, what else are they doing in there? There is only one way to find out for sure. And to do that, we need to get inside. That's not going to happen until we get a sample from Venom. Our list of problems continues to grow longer. Well, we're not here for the easy stuff. Caretaker, are you alright? That's what I wanted to ask you. I know you're on your feet and seem fine after that explosion with Venom, but I know all too well from experience that sometimes the worst injuries are not visible to the naked eye. So, please tell me, Hunter, are you actually as fine as you seem this morning? Or should I be worried? No, caretaker, I am not. My caller, the explosion, it cracked it. Cracked? Yes. I feared this would happen. Venom was filled with your mother's power. It would be naive to think it couldn't fracture even our best defenses against her. Ugh. At least cracked doesn't mean broken. Not yet, at least. You will have to work doubly hard to rein in your darkness. Your actions and words mean more than ever now. Make sure you use them with integrity. I understand. Yeah, well, I guess I should stop fussing over you and go see what horrors Hydra has in store for us today. As you were, Hunter. Was that the first explosion you've survived? If so, you deserve a cookie. Uh, to be clear, I'm not going to bake it for you. You're one tough cookie, Hunter. Biscotti level tough. Biscotti? Teeth breaking Tony kind of cookie. If only I was more teeth breaking with venom. Yeah, not your best moment, but it wasn't a total bust. 
We learned that it takes more than an energy blast straight from hell to wipe you out. True. And that blade? He's an asset. I owe him my life. Yeah, he gets five stars from me. And ass-kicking abilities aside, he's pretty on point with his movie references. Outside the mission stuff, I gotta say, I had my doubts about Blade. The brooding vibe, the sunglasses indoors, his lack of preference between a Chicago style versus New York, which is just plain wrong. But the more I see him in action, the more I think he might be an okay dude. You have just never seen his dark side. It is easy to see the good in people, and we have not seen the bad. As a rule, I try not to assume the absolute worst about my teammates. And neither should you. Anyway, I wanted to ask how you were, and it turned into a full-blown cooler talk. Better get back to work before the boss notices. Catch you later. Corruption draining spells are notoriously tricky. I hear I owe you my thanks. You know, when you were resurrected, I was sure you wouldn't be able to overcome the darkness inside you. What do you think now? I'm beginning to think I was right. You are your mother's kid, all right. No escaping that. I am nothing like my mother, and it is offensive to suggest so. You can deny the truth of what you are all you want. Just... what do you think you saw? You're telling me you don't remember what happened after that blast? Because that was some messed up shit. Tell me. You were crying out for your mother. Calling out her name like a lost kid at a theme park, while all this crazy-ass dark energy was swirling around your body, almost taking it over. I was so sure you were about to fall that I didn't leave your side. Surprised you came too with the light still in your eyes. I am surprised you scare so easily. I'm not the one who should be scared. You're on the edge, Hunter. Fear might be the one thing that keeps you from falling off. I would appreciate you not sharing what you witnessed with the rest of the team. I don't plan to. It's not mine to share. I'll leave that to you. I'm here if you need me. A strong aura surrounds us.
day, Hunter. 